Welcome to episode 22 of Liquid Velvet Literature. You're a ghost on the highway, and I love you forever. Welcome to episode 22 of Liquid Velvet Literature here on Prose Radio. We began today with a quote by Mazzy Starr. If you are a human being with a pulse, a sense of sight, a sense of sound, together or separately, um, and especially if you were alive around the 90s and old enough to go, to go see shows or, or you just liked music and you uh, liked beautiful things, uh, you knew who Hope Sandoval was back then, and maybe even now. But if you were lucky enough to see them live, uh, you would see you would see that. I don't want to sound like a like New Age or a hippie or whatever, but she had this uh, this aura, and it just emanated from this like this, this angelic presence and that voice that that silky. Uh, oh my God! Enough. So uh, I felt like listening to Mazzy Star this morning. So I have been, and it led into the pieces today because I had my request sheet, well, digitally, and uh, I was reading them. And so what happens is, just so you guys know, typically when I get uh, reads requested, and by the way, before I go on, if you want to request a narration from your favorite writer or even yourself, um, that happens from time to time, but not very often. Normally we get uh, readers of the authors who request that they get read, but if you want to request a piece, go to the pros channel at gmail.com. I will link that below. I don't know why I haven't yet. I thought everybody kind of knew that, but on the days when I don't get requests, I'll just freestyle, I guess. Um, but this is a good day for me because I love every writer that was requested, and one just keeps popping up into the request feed, and another one that was featured last video popped up. And so what happens is sometimes you'll see spotlight interpolated with the pieces featured, and sometimes you'll see them consecutively. And so what happens is one of our admins will just unspotlight and spotlight the pieces requested or just spotlight them, period, and refresh so it's current. So if I'm scrolling down through the posts, you'll see that they're in order of request. So... All right. That was long and, and most likely unnecessary, but here we go. This is Mariah with Dusk. Mariah, I, I love this writer. I could, I could literally narrate this writer for hours. Okay, here we go. Dusk. Shroud of a sky, tucked in cloak, as daylight winnows down, silver moon and waking stars, the distant crying of a loon. How I wish these simple things would delight you too. Perhaps I'd feel much less alone. Yeah. And the NEC scene the 66 says, beautifully written. Shats, this is so sweet, Mariah. Yeah, it is. The Naz. I like the Naz. That's... That's lovely, love, simply, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we knew what you meant, Naz. Beautiful, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely beautiful. And this one is, I'm just going to say, Nima Nick's art and philosophy. This is a philosophy challenge for April. And, uh, Give us Spinoza's take on humanity in 2024. Mavia wrote a really good piece about on this too. I, I sh she wasn't requested, but um, I, I might feature that. I want to do a whole thing on that writer. Uh, one of my favorites on the site. Just beautiful, beautiful heart in that woman. Okay, here we go. This is, but this is Menomics art and philosophy. Converted Brahmanist 2024 Spinoza. I'm only laughing because whenever I see the word Brahm, I always think of uh, 
of Jane's Addiction and uh, Eric Avery's guitar. He had the ROM sticker on his bass. And it always makes me just like, just long for 89. Okay, here we go. Converted Brahmanist 2024, Spinoza. Brahman is a spider. It's web, prey, space, and all. Unconceivable, eternal, all-encompassing, oneness. It. Yeah. Thank you. However you say your name. Okay. And this is last with You Took. For every mark on the surface, there are a myriad of directions that the line didn't take invisible, yet indivisible hanging a bite. In the atmosphere, that little bit of static, the cling, an interference, a sizzle of the disconnect, to redress oneself in threads and ravel, light and effect. Nice. Thank you, last. You took. I, that's beautiful. I like. I like the. I normally don't like to read poems that are um, that are like all italics or or bold. Sometimes, I think large has a has a rep for all caps, and that's why I like that about. But uh, this was this was really, and I think this it's interesting because just like the last poem, all in one, uh, this writer knew what he was. Whoever he or she was doing and uh but sometimes it's fun to take that liberty like take a street language and sometimes it reads a spell phonetically and i like that a lot and i think and i think that even though in here there are no um words like that but i think that the italicized poem really adds a little bit of um soft texture to this which it was beautiful anyway but just noticing things like that And this is a reoccurring uh, request from Beulah Dazel. And this is untitled. I kind of think that's cool sometimes, too. Just put it out there. Count my ribs with your fingers through my skin. I'm layered like a stone fruit. My deconstruction is earthquaking. My aftershock is charming. My goosebumps are a compliment. I collect from the floor all that belongs to me and leave with a key in my pocket meant to unlock you later. I am a glowworm, attracted by my own light. I gut myself like you never could. Don't worry, dear. You're safe for now, since I've turned you into poems unworthy of a name. Mm. Pigeons are content with my offerings, and so should you be, but I'll shred you later. Tonight I was preoccupied, bored of your songs, juvenile love cries, staining my ear toward the outside traffic, longing for some real waves crashing. Though I did leave you a memory, the wallpaper above your bed unglued with the breath of me. Tense and intense. Oh, Mariah said, wow. Hmm. Beautifully evil. I like that. Thank you, Beulah Dazel. Uh, this one is 7v7 in Poetry and Free Verse. This would be a challenge, a long poem challenge from prose. Cool. I like this writer. Leftovers. Spread the banquet in the darkened hall and save a seat. Surely I'll be there. Sometime, maybe, even just next week. Give me a moment to let it all sink in at the vestibule where the skins change, aged by a miracle, inside, I mean, before the dishes are categorically due again for scrubbing. 
I'll paint a picture of how the gravy engraves the edge of the plate like a print, escaping the scrape of the last utensil in a repast that was meant to satiate the commission of a familiar portrait left unfinished, impressing the thing we most miss on riding the camel of wayward abyss into undefined western set oasis. And looking back, gilded, we'll God bless the garbage disposal in the drain as we're moving along the piped dream, finding that somehow the dispenser jaws trap the tarnished locks, always threatening with an emergency call at the plumber's office. What's that? A major clog or a minor leak? And among the gray snake coils and foil, they already know all about it. Down the street, the way memory fades with each Macy's TV parade, which, if anyone asks, was turned on exclusively for the children's sake. And, like with Pi, there's always room for you out there after the decimal for one more random figure to pull up and sit in the cool foyer. But it's no rumor the family's getting bigger. Even as its members retreat and count on comfortable ulteriors, the porch creaks with the ghosts of passing feet that mark in time the distance and heat the ruler and the rule fail to keep where we all took measure of the stock and the broth that was made long back when, in esteem of our bouillon cube, all was vacuum-packed and carefully wrapped from bones picked clean two million-odd years ago. That is really fucking good, 7v7. Wow. I like that. I like that, uh, Almost like, um, like just drops of, um, just drops of beats, just boom, boom, boom. I felt like I was almost reading lyrics, uh, like very lyrical, almost like, uh, classical poetry meets, I don't know, something else. That's real. That, I like this. Thank you. Okay. I'm back. Had a, a dog crisis I had to take care of, but it's averted. We're good. Uh, let me go back down to here. And this is going to close out the show. This is our last request. This is Bella Dazel with, um, it's Russian for my love poem. Um, and what a beautiful language this is. Uh, I, I get called back to the, I think it was an Abakov interview at the end of Lolita, maybe. And he was uh, talking about how the difference in language, like the Russian language, he was describing the, the visual of the Russian language. It was like this, like red velvet chair, I think something like to that effect. And, um, I just think it's a beautiful looking language. And I've always wanted to write in a different language, like to write even a, just a poem in Russian or, um, I mean, truly write, not fucking translate and, uh, like learn the language. And, um, same with like, with, uh, Spanish or, you know, uh, the, the Colombian poet, Pablo Neruda. I mean, I, I, what I, beautiful. One of my favorites. I should feature him for, uh, for number 23 for the intro. I think I will. But this is Beulah Dazel. And, uh, I'm not surprised this was requested. She's been an ever, an ever presence in the last few videos since she joined the site for good reason. She's requested a lot and just such a, so fun to read. And that funds it in the, in the purest sense of that word. <laughs> fun yeah, that's that's uh that's undercutting it it's uh it's ethereal to read this writer so here we go a resemblance of a love poem of mine is this largely redacted piece where all you'll see is the dragged shadow of an echo of an inky heart of me over branches backlit by spotlights, drugged to blur and twisted in my rags to rich a story in reverse, without a single punctuation. Your language and its murder or your birthrights to love songs don't mean much here to me. Spitting into invisible equations, running amuck. And damn it, I just had and lost the perfect line to end all lines to be worthy of an exit left off stage with giants. 
but all I'll muster up is some odd change and these next few lines hoping I don't get gobbled up by lions. Flattered by mouths, lied to by tongues. The only way I know you're real is with my strangest way of kissing. Electric, I will clank my teeth and shyly suck your story from inside your cheek. You'll taste me in your essence long after I forget your name. That's really good. That's really good. Uh, large? Yeah. I mean, damn. Yeah. Matthew De Silva, run amok. <laughs> uh, I like De Silva. He's a good. He's a good writer. Uh, I'm quite certain she did that on purpose. Uh, I, I like that too. I love. Like I said, I love that. Uh, that that phonetic improv. But yeah, this is this is great. <laughs> Are you rewriting my poem? That's funny. This is good. Kind of want to go read Nabokov now. Okay, and that's going to wrap today. Thank you for being here, and thank you to all the talents featured on the show today. And um, I'll say it again. If you'd like to read or write, go to thepros.com. Read and write. Inspire. Be inspired. We need you as in the world. And I'm going to get out of here. I'll talk to you in the new video. Take good care.